Uh, so in this video, I want to talk uh, a bit more about like testosterone and, and hormone replacement therapy in, in general. First off, um, hormone replacement therapy is nothing uh, to play around with. Uh, it's not like the next level of drag. <laughs> I don't believe that uh, every butch is a trans guy in disguise. I think, in fact, I mean, such a this decision uh, to go undertake hormone replacement therapy uh, is is a very weighty one. And if you make the decision that makes you unhappy and unbalanced, I think you're kind of weakening that decision that was been that made that has been helpful for other people. So you have to be very certain about what you're doing. I I see hormone replacement therapy as a a really new advancement in in medicine. Uh I think transgender people, F to M's, uh M to F's, I think throughout history uh we've existed it's only until like recently uh within you know pa past few decades that hormone replacement therapy has been used uh the the thing is uh our our culture with its misunderstandings of gender uh, this continual focus on, on genitals as being uh, the sole determiner of, of, of gender and gender identity, uh, well, society may be holding to that. I think uh, transgender people, I mean, I think we know at a very uh, deep level that uh, the, the, the genitals isn't all where it's at, where gender identity is at. Uh, I mean, uh, the most powerful uh, sex organ is, is the brain. And hormone replacement therapy is, is, is there to, I guess, achieve a better like, uh, balance uh, be, be, you know, between our, our, our brain and body than would otherwise be possible. So hormone uh, replacement therapy, I'm, I'm, I'm very optimistic about. My basic attitude is that uh, hormone replacement therapy is there to make you feel more in tune, more balanced uh, w with yourself. And the social stigma that may be attached to uh, transitioning well, fuck that. Uh, you, you have to take a stand. Uh, it's kind of disturbing sometimes, like, even the, the people that are supposed to help you, like doctors, for example, I think because of the social, uh, possibly because of the social stigma attached, there's still this kind of, like, I don't know, uh, a lot of doctors... <laughs> don't seem to be uh, paying much attention. I mean, I've had a, a, a friend who, uh, for, for a while, uh, I mean, they were giving him too large of a dosage of testosterone, and that affected his life. You know, I mean, it, 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 it really does affect the way, the way you act. And I know I've said that, you know, uh, meditation is very helpful, but 
hey, if you're taking the wrong dose of of testosterone, I mean, it, 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 it's, 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 it's too difficult. So I think as uh, transgender people, we really need to take our, a lot of our care in, in, into our hands, so to speak. Uh, I, I, I think it can be an empowering thing.